guys, Stina Rose here and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Craft. We are here underneath of my house. Uh, on stream last week we built this wonderful uh, pumpkin and melon farm and I am really loving it. Uh, very much so. This thing is fabulous. So this has been running uh, just while I'm around the base, derping around and look at that. Look at that, all the melons, all the pumpkins. And yes, I've been coming through and and uh, taking the melons and putting them back together into, you know, from their slices into actual, yeah, melon blocks. But yet yeah, that is fabulous. Now, Stina, why do you need a pumpkin and melon farm? I mean, you can't exactly eat pumpkins and melons. I mean, you got nice steak to eat. So why, 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 why? The reason, the reason is over at the village. All right, guys, I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Bruce. Bruce is the reason why we need these pumpkin and melons because Bruce is a master uh, farmer and trades one pumpkin for one emerald and one melon for one emerald though. Right now, he's like, I gotta restock, Stina. I gotta restock. But he will trade one pumpkin and one melon per emerald. Because Bruce is one of the original villagers we used to repopulate this village um, and was originally a zombie villager. So this guy has the most fabulous trades. The most fabulous trades. And I've been getting so many emeralds from, from trading with Bruce. Um, also, we can get golden carrots for one emerald. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, something else that Bruce trades is carrots. And I don't really have a good source of carrots. I mean, obviously the carrot trade isn't as great as the pumpkin and melon trade, but it is nice to be able to have other things to trade with Bruce. I'm thinking, I'm thinking today we're gonna do a little bit more work with Bruce. Um, in fact, probably by the end of the day, by the end of the episode, Bruce is going to be over at our house. I know, Bruce. Are you excited? Are you excited, Bruce? You're going to go on a field trip soon. Um, but before we do that, we need to actually um, probably relocate a couple of these villagers. Um, some novices who who haven't been doing much trading um this guy he he's i've been trading with him quite a bit um his trades aren't great compared to to bruce's but you know he's not too bad but yeah we need to take some of these guys who are farmers and we're gonna build some carrot farms over at the base so let me go get started on that project Right, so I've got the farms in. Now, other than the fact that I still need to get more carrots into this one, um, things are ready to go. I think I'm also gonna put, um, yeah, slabs there and there. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm still, I'm stuck. Um, I'm still trying to get this filled out. We've got one of potatoes and then we're going to have two of carrots. Uh, Bruce is going to go here in the center. Um, the idea is they're going to throw stuff to Bruce instead of picking it up. It's just going to go in the, the hopper. 
uh, minecart, which will then suck down into the hoppers that are below. So that's the idea. Um, let me continue working on this and get the rest of this field planted and then we will bring over the villagers. So I need a villager in here, in there, in there, as well as Bruce, who's gonna be here um, in a place where we can actually access his trades. So yeah, this should be really interesting. Let me get back to work. All right, we got the first guy in and he is busy harvesting these carrots, which is absolutely perfect. This is what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to be working on harvesting the carrots. He's going to pick them up and eventually he's going to come back over here to Bruce. Now Bruce is here. Uh, this is the guy that trades one for one. Oh, I should have named this other guy over here. Um, yeah, I will get him named as well because I want I want to make sure that, you know, they're, they're named. I want them to be named. Uh, in fact, you know what? We're going to need three names and why don't you guys I'd love to hear your name suggestions in the comments below, and I will name them after what you guys want them named after. So we do have Bruce here, um, but we're going to need a carrot guy, a potato guy, and another carrot guy. Speaking of those three, let me go get them. All right, we got the villagers all sorted out. Um, I did end up, this is no longer Bruce. Um, so my whole plan was, you know, Bruce could be here in the center, they'd be throwing things to Bruce, and then I could trade with Bruce. Yeah, I, I'm still learning how villagers work. Um, apparently for villagers to unlock their trades again, they need a bed. And Bruce could not have a bed there, and so Bruce would not work. So I actually moved Bruce. Bruce now has his own house. Isn't his house beautiful? Um, yeah, so Bruce has his own house. I'm still working on... Um, trading with him enough emeralds to make the floor, you know, because why not? Why, why not just have his whole house be made of emeralds? It's an incentive, isn't it, Bruce? Uh, but anyway, Bruce is very happy here. Um, in fact, he keeps lowering his carrot trade. Yeah, so Bruce is happy here in his room. We've got these other villagers who are now all harvesting. We've got the carrot guy harvesting, the potato guy harvesting, the other carrot guy harvesting. And uh, at the end of the day, they come and they throw things at this villager. Because the villager is sitting inside of a hopper minecart, the hopper minecart grabs those items, pulls it through to this hopper chain, brings it down to the storage system. And as you can see, we are getting carrots and potatoes aplenty. Now, I have already gone and traded a bunch of these carrots with Bruce. Bruce doesn't have a potato trade. Yeah, I, I think we need to get a couple more farmer villagers down here, master level farmer villagers down here, uh, living with Bruce because you know this is this is great. This is this is really great and everything, um, but it would be nice to be able to do this with several more so that they could un unlock their trades while I'm trading with the others. I think that would be really really helpful. But, you know, just like that, I think I just heard the sound. Yep, just like that. See, he's unlocked again, and he has lowered his trade uh, pricing once more. So as you can see, you know, just sitting here in these few moments, um, we are already up to 34 emeralds. And he may have just unlocked again. He did. Huzzah. So, yeah, see, this is, this is why I wanted Bruce down here. He's right next to the farms. Uh, it's pretty easy now to get the crops from the carrots and potatoes and the melon farm and just trade, trade, trade. And as you can see, 50 emeralds already, um, just that quick. It is becoming quite profitable to have this guy down here, which makes me think I probably should start working with villagers even more and get some more infrastructure going on about that. Um, I have been trying to figure out what I'm going to do with villagers in the zoo. Am I going to set up things like a lab? Because, come out here and, and I'll give you a look. I, I've got two ideas and I'm not quite sure which one I want to go with. So up this, up this area here, we've got we've got this little overhang area and I thought it might be really cool to 
turn this wall into glass and have like a laboratory in behind and with villagers in there with all of their professions doing work uh, and have that like the trading hall underneath of the house see you can see the houses right there uh, the villagers would be right down there we could even we could even do something where there's like a drop inside of the house or a staircase down leading into the villager area um, they'd still be visible from the zoo my other thought We'll just take a swim this direction. Swimming! Swimming! My other thought is to, um, to actually build them a village inside of the zoo. So it would be like a contained little village uh, inside of the zoo. Oh, that creeper. That creeper scared me for a moment. Okay, that's my creeper. It's fine. It's fine. Bye, squid. Ink sacks. Um, there we go. So my other thought would be to build them a village down here in this area of the zoo and have them have like an apartment building and things like that. So you're looking down at them from the house above and like especially in this little area here, have a, a bustling village um, full of villagers going about their daily tasks. Now, the thing about this idea is, yes, it's it's a little bit more visible for the zoo proper, but it does put the villagers a little bit more at risk uh, in case, you know, because there is a river right down here and drowned could come up from the river. Um, they are more out in the open, but it could be, it could be more dynamic. Um, seeing seeing the villagers moving around so what do you guys think um if i remember correct if i remember i will put a poll in the in the video right now do you think that we should build a village or a laboratory a village or a laboratory now i'm not doing that today though that that's for a future project for the rest of this episode, I want to go into the nether. Um, I have two tunnels that I want to... Um, words. I have two tunnels that I want to build today. I have a tunnel, a shortcut tunnel to the end uh, from my, my base. In fact, let's just go take a look. Let, let's go take a look at those two tunnels so you know what I'm talking about. We A couple episodes ago, Drama Smith and I went and we found a end portal a stronghold and we connected up my, right through the back of my tunnel is a shortcut tunnel right here. And we have a main tunnel leading to the end. So I need to decorate this tunnel and I need to decorate this tunnel, which leads from the north tunnel there all the way back to that end portal so this is this is my task for for the rest of this episode i need to decorate out these tunnels now i put it to my discord community um quick plug for discord if you're not part of my discord community the link is in the description below and uh, make sure you read the rules and info so you can get a role and be able to chat with all the amazing people in the community but I put it to my Discord community to come up with some tunnel ideas, and I have two tunnel ideas uh, that I want to implement today. Taking the ideas that they shown, changing them just a little bit um, to fit what we need for here, but some, some great ideas. So let me gather up the materials I need, and we'll get started with this shortcut tunnel first. All right, our tunnel is done. Now this, is, again, is the shortcut tunnel to uh, the zoo from this end portal tunnel um, because we're we're like right there as you can see we can we can just see ourselves so this is the shortcut tunnel and I I love the way that this turned out now this idea again was from a member of my discord community and um, a member of this chat uh, sorry a friend of this channel Kyberg and now I've taken her design and just changed it a little bit to make it work a little bit better. She had rose bushes planted in there and I love that idea, but um, 
pigment could spawn on the rose bushes. And the ceiling, I, I just added a little bit of birch to pull in that lighter color from the walls uh, and break it up a little bit more. So yes, this is, this is the tunnel design and I have to admit, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So Kyberg, thank you so much for that tunnel design. Uh, we've got your name here on the tunnel. Loving the way that this came together. By the way, glazed terracotta is not fun to work with. It's not fun to work with at all, but we got it. I think we, I think I got it all correct. Uh, if there is a piece of, of terracotta here that is not oriented correctly, please don't tell me. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that, that was a lot of work to try to get those in properly. I don't use glazed terracotta very often, and yeah, that was, that was something. Oh, by the way, the use of melons here. So these are melon blocks, and the use of melon blocks here is phenomenal. I love the look of the melon blocks. It just, it gives it such a really cool, unique design and feel. So again, thank you Kyberg for this amazing tunnel design. And I, I really look forward to using this tunnel repeatedly. I think it, I think it blends really well with the tunnel that we did, uh, going to Dib's place, um, from the main tunnel. Now, I said we have two tunnels to do today and I'm not joking. We have a second tunnel that we need to get in and that is going to be this tunnel here. This tunnel connects um, the main north tunnel, the one that we've worked on before. It connects the main north tunnel with the end portal. So now I need to get a whole different set of blocks because this tunnel is not acacia. This tunnel is going to be something different. So let me grab those blocks and let me get busy and I will show you what has come up for this end portal tunnel. All right, guys, we got the, the tunnel done to the end portal here on the north uh, west corner. This design was created by, again, a member of my Discord, Time. Uh, Time uh, submitted this design as uh, their submission for for the contest I was having over on Discord for these tunnel designs, and I love the way that this looks. Now, the ceiling is my own, and I added uh, these magma blocks in behind the the iron bars, but other than that, this is the, the design that they came up with, and I love the way this looks. It has a very, very cool feel to it. Uh, trans transitioned pretty well into the shortcut tunnel and I like this I like this a whole bunch now coming down here to where this portal is not completely finished and closed off because this actually connects to the west tunnel as well and uh, need to Wow, that pigment just went in. Uh, need to figure out how we're going to transition if, if this tunnel is going to be the same design as the tunnel we just created or what's going on there. So that's why this is still not finished off here, uh, but everything else here is completely done. Wow. Wow. Um, I have done a ton of building today, a ton of building. Uh, hours and hours and hours have gone into creating this episode. And wow, I'm really pleased with all the results of what we have accomplished. Let's get into the comment of the day. And this is about last episode. Now, last episode we built over in the um, the raid village that Drama Smith had created and this is a comment by Drama and I wanted to share this with you guys because we did build that whole uh, um, yeah fleet of Viking ships for Drama and this is what she has to say hench cows I love it I saw the first ship and I'll be racing over to see the rest thank you so much for such an amazing addition to the village and I am so glad that Drama likes the ships. Guys, that makes me so happy to know that something that I've done really, um, really resonates with the other alphas and knowing that they appreciate it as well. Speaking of Drama, guys, I got together with Drama and we had a little bit of an adventure. Let me show you that clip 
and uh, we'll be ending the episode after that. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, check out the other alphas. Their links are in the description. And I will see you again later. Enjoy the clip. Enjoy these clips of an adventure Draymond and I had here in the nether. Bye now. Are you ready for an adventure? Uh, I'm ready for something. <laughs> I may have had too much adventure already. <laughs> well, there it is. Hi. Okay. okay. Here it comes. Yep. Right. Come on, guy. Drop your head. No. No bones. To say. Oh, I see one. You're coming up on. Where, there's where, a where, bunch where, where, of where. them over there. There we go. <laughs> That's just in case we have to beat a hasty retreat. Well, like now. <gasps> he got right in my face. Now where's he gone? Oh, you idiot! He's gone around the corner. Come on. Come on. Hello. That's, that's it. That's what you want. Come on. Please. Yeah, and we just got coal. Come on. That's it. He can't get down. No. That's why he can't get down. Oh, okay. All right. No head. Lump of coal. Blazers are a dime a dozen. Oh, there's one. A blaze? Oh, a skill. No. Oh, with a skill. You can get out of that. Come on. Come on. Drop your head. Ah! <gasps> Cole! Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's one. Waiting oh. for us. Oh, good! Did he bring friends? Hello. No. Oh. Well, I hope not, because I've got no idea where they are if he did. Just cool. Cole. Oh, there's one. Quick, get in here. Quick, 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 Stina! Wikes! <gasps> I'm like, yeah. where? Oh! <laughs> uh, Cole. I nearly walked into him. Just Come the on. lone one again. Bones. No. Here he is. Oh, you found him? Yep. Should I be worried? No, I got it. <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes! You did it! Yes! Oh, well, all that time we've got one. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best. Yay! Did, did you want to hold it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, hi, yes. whoa! Where? <laughs> Oh, two. Go for it. Your turn. Because you have more luck with them than I do. Come on. No. Come on. Oh, yeah, well. You guys were non-cooperative. Oh, there he is. You find him? Here he comes. Yep. Hello, friend. Cole. And those pigmen are right in the way. <gasps> found one. Hey, buddy. There's blazes down there too. Okay, I've got your spot. Come on. Here he comes. There's I'm Whoa! Blind. You okay? Yeah. He just nearly dropped on my head. Come on. Cole. Cole. I'm not hitting them anymore. <laughs> Just get Cole. Hey, buddy. There's another one. Yeah, I see him. Come on. <gasps> Pigman? <gasps> oh, hi. How'd you get down Careful there? Careful about that. Can he get out? Cool. Did you get another one? Get Cole. Let's, let's fix that. Yeah, that, that was a little bit scary, to be honest. That was, that was a lot a bit. of it scary. 
Oh, uh, I see some. One. Do you? Where are they? Over there. Uh, I think I know how to get around to there. Not this way. Okay. Because there's lava. I don't like the lava. Nope. Oh, they aren't on the open bit, are they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're on the open bit. You're... Watch out for the blaze spawner beside you. We'll get rid of that when we... We are not firing on these guys. Okay, wish me luck. I'm wishing you luck. Go, come back, come back! Where did he go? He's just here. Oh, the blazes are coming. Cole. All right, here we go again. Hello? Do you want to take this guy on? Oh, I've got blazes upset with me. I can get rid of them. Where is he? Just there. Oh, he's on. Oh, hang on. I'll have to come this way. Oh, get down. Oi. There he is. He's back up on the other side now. <laughs> Got him. Nope. Ow. Told you there were blazes. This one snuck up behind me. Just rude. Come on. Oh, don't go over there. Oh. Ed? Cole. Yeah. Hi. Sword. You got a sword? <laughs> I'm so excited. I got a stone sword. Which? It's got 83 durability left. Here he is. You got it, Drama. Come on, skull. Bones. Uh, it's right oh, there. Oh, there he is. Hello. Who I did him last time? He's got a friend. Yes. One for you. Hey. Hey. Oi. I'll take care of that. Hi. Crashing the party. How dare you. Rats. Nothing. It's a cheapy gold farm. Got it. Ha -ha. Indeed. Well, one of them is. All right. Go for it. Nope. Oh. Hey. Right, let's grab this. Hey. Come on. I love the way they pirouette. Hey. <laughs> Come on. I'm very fascinating. Let's go. Trust us to get a cautious with a skeleton. Go for it again. Ouch. Ow! All that and he just gave us coal. Are you okay? Yeah. Eat, eat, eat. I gotta go. I'm sorry. And that's okay. We, we, we're we further ahead shot. than the, we were and we gave it a good yep. shot. 